Now, people are being urged to donate more clothes to charity as op shops experience their lowest stock levels on record. New research shows that despite the fact that more Australians are turning to op shops to purchase clothes, donations are in fact going down. Kumi Taguchi spoke to John Dee from Do Something and the founder of National Op Shop Week earlier this morning. John Dee, the racks here in this store here, massive warehouse, they look pretty full at the moment. Is this typical of what's going on around the country? It's not typical. There, there are 2,000 charity op shop stores around Australia and many of them are running short on goods and you know, items that are donated by the general public. Here at this Salvo store, this is very, very well supported by the local community. But unfortunately, that's not the case all around Australia. So tell me, what kinds of people are shopping in stores like this? Are you look, looking at sort of young people picking up some stuff for a party? It's not really that case anymore, is it? Well, the reality is if you look around Australia at charity op shop stores, a lot of people who are using them uh, are unemployed or on low incomes. And so they come here for day-to-day -day, you know, items that they need. They might come down for uh, clothes that they need for a job interview, uh, or they might just need you know, clothes for everyday wear. And that's why it's so important that people get behind their local charity op shops, because they provide an incredibly valuable service to Australians who are doing it a bit tough. Okay, so Australians are doing it tough, but donations are down, so how can you remedy that? Well, unfortunately around Australia at the moment, the demand for services from stores like this have been going up. But unfortunately, given that it's a time of economic stress for many Australians, that people are hoarding and holding on to you know, the clothes that they have. So we're in a situation where we have literally billions and billions of dollars worth of clothes lying unused in wardrobes all over Australia. And the aim of National Op Shop Week is to get them out of those wardrobes and down into op shops like this. Okay, so what would your time limit be? You haven't worn something for X number of months, six months a year? Then what do you do with that clothing? Well, I thought, you know, I should walk the talk on this. So my wife and I yesterday, we actually went through our own wardrobes and we had a 12-month, one-year rule on it. If we hadn't worn it in a year, unless it was very special, then, you know, get rid of it. But make sure it's high quality. That was really important. But we got rid of seven bags worth of clothes, all great quality, and we just weren't using them, but they went down to the local Vinnie store instead. Okay, I'm guilty of this. I've thrown stuff into like a big garbage bag, tied it up and popped it in a bin, but I haven't really gone through whether that clothing is high quality. What are some of the rules for donating? Look, the rules I think for donating are if you wouldn't wear it yourself, then don't give it. And you know, you and I went outside early when we came here to this outlet, and there's some great stuff that had been donated and left outside, but also a lot of rubbish. And this is part of the problem. Uh, there were 90,000 tonnes of clothes and other items that were reused by charity op shops uh, within the community. But unfortunately, charity op shops also had to throw out 88,000 tonnes of clothes and other items that simply weren't good enough quality. In fact, it was rubbish. And so, you know, people trying to do the right thing, but unfortunately, the charities end up out of pocket when they have to throw away all those uh, unused and, you know, items that really aren't up to scratch. Now, you've launched this Op Shop Week. It's been a bit of a pet project for you to centralise the way that people can shop and find where they can go. What was the motivation behind that? And I guess what's your vision for a kind of community-based shopping and supportive network within people's community? Well, charity op shops perform such an incredibly valuable role within the community, especially for Australians who are doing it tough. And so what we tried to do do something was get together all of the contact details, the opening hours for all 2,000 charity op shops around Australia, and we put them on one website. Uh, it's called opshopweek.com.au. And all you have to do is type in your postcode and do something will show you all the nearest charity op shops in your local area. So that way, if you are able to have a spring clean at home and clear out those uh, wardrobes, then you can then find your local charity op shops where you can donate them and, and give it to a good cause. John D, thank you so much. Thank you.